What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the circumcenter of a triangle, all right? So first, let's just make sure we understand what the circumcenter of a triangle is. So here's just a random triangle. Now, the circumcenter is a point. It can be inside the triangle or outside the triangle, but it's just a point that's the same distance away from all the vertices, all the corners of your triangle, okay? So you can see here, this point here in the middle is about the same distance away from all the vertices, okay? Now, in order to find this point, all you have to do is find the perpendicular bisectors of at least two sides of the triangle, okay? So in order to find a perpendicular bisector, first you need to find the middle or the midpoint of one of the sides, all right? So for example, with this side over here, the midpoint, let's just say it's about here, okay? Now, a perpendicular bisector would just be a line that intersects this line, this side, at a 90 degree angle. So if we drew a line like this, okay, something like that, you can see that this creates about a 90 degree angle, right? So we need to do that with at least two sides. So I just did it with this first side, and then we could do it with one more side over here. So let's just say uh, the midpoint is about here, and then let's draw a perpendicular bisector through this point. So let's say it's about there, okay? So let's say that's about 90 degrees, right? So where these two lines intersect, again, you can see that's where the circumcenter is, okay? So that's how we're gonna find the circumcenter of this triangle in this example. So the problem just says, find the coordinates of the circumcenter of triangle HJK with vertices at H, negative uh, 10, 7, J, negative 6, 3, and K, negative 2, 3. All right, so the first thing we have to do here is just graph the triangle, which I've already done here. Now, the second thing we have to do is find two midpoints. So first, let's find the midpoint of this bottom side, because that looks like it'll be easy to find, right? So from J to K, what's that distance here? Well, it's one, two, three, four, right? Well, the midpoint, since this is just a perfectly horizontal line, we know the midpoint is just right here in the middle, right? So it's two spaces away from J and two spaces away from K. Now let's find another midpoint. So we can use this side or this side. So let's just use this side. Now this side is obviously at an angle, right? It's not perfectly horizontal or vertical. Uh, like this side, so it's not going to be as easy to find. So in order to find the midpoint of this side, we just need to use the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula is just x of 1 plus x of 2 over 2, and then the y-coordinate is y of 1 plus y of 2 over 2, right? So this gives us the coordinates of the midpoint. So the first thing we have to do here is just label our two points that we're using. So let's just label this uh, one up here, h, as x of 1, y of 1, and this one down here, j, as x of 2, y of 2, all right? So if we plug these points into our formula, we'll get that the midpoint is equal to x of 1, uh, which is negative 10, plus x of 2, which is negative 6, right? So negative 10 plus negative 6 divided by 2, and then the y's are 7 plus 3, right? 7 plus 3 divided by 2. So then this is going to be equal to negative 10 plus negative 6. That's equal to basically negative 10 minus 6, which is negative 16. And negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. All right. And then here, 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. All right. So the midpoint is at these coordinates, or at this coordinate right here, negative 8, 5. All right. So here we're going to go negative 8 and then go up to 5, which is right here. All right, so this is the midpoint between H and J. Okay, the next thing we have to do is just find the perpendicular bisectors through these two points. Now, the perpendicular bisector that's going to run through this line JK is kind of easy to find, right? Because this line is perfectly horizontal, so the perpendicular bisector is going to be perfectly vertical, right? It's going to run through that point like that, right? Because now we have our 90 degree angle here. Okay, so that one was easy enough to find. Now let's find the perpendicular bisector for this point. Okay, and to do that, first we have to find the slope of this line that it's on. So we need to find the slope of this line HJ. And to do that, we can just use the slope formula. So the slope between two points is just equal to y of two minus y of one, over x of 2 minus x of 1. 
So our points are already labeled, so let's just keep those. So y of 2, and sorry, I just caught something. Uh, up here, this should be x of 1 and y of 1. All right. So let's change that really quick before we plug this in. There you go. So we have x of 1, y of 1, and then x of 2, y of 2. So the slope is y of 2, so that's going to be equal to 3, minus y of 1, which is 7. And that's over x of 2, which is negative 6. And we're going to subtract x of 1, which is negative 10. All right, so on top, 3 minus 7 is equal to negative 4. And on the bottom, we have negative 6 minus negative 10, which is the same thing as negative 6 plus 10, which is equal to positive 4. Right, so we have the positive 4 here. So the slope is equal to uh, negative 4 over 4. So we can reduce this down to negative 1 over 1. And I'm going to leave it as a fraction like this uh, because I could reduce it, right? I could just write it as negative 1. But I'm going to leave it as a fraction because we need to do something with this. Okay, so here we know that the slope between h and j is negative 1 over 1, or simply negative 1, right? But in order to find the slope of the perpendicular bisector, we need to take the opposite reciprocal of this slope, okay? So when I say opposite, it means we have to change the sign, all right? So instead of uh, our slope being negative, like it is here, it's going to be positive. And when I say reciprocal, it means we have to flip the fraction. So here we have 1 over 1. Now when we flip that, well, in this case, it's still going to be just 1 over 1. Okay, so the slope of the perpendicular bisector is equal to 1 over 1, or simply equal to 1, positive 1, right? So uh, in order to draw that slope, we just have to go up 1 over 1 and draw a straight line like that. Okay, cool. So now that we found our two perpendicular bisectors, again, where those two lines intersect is where the circumcenter is. So as you can see, the two lines intersect right here. And what is this point right here? Well, it looks like it's at negative 4, uh, positive 9. All right, so the circumcenter is at negative 4, 9. Okay, so you can see that this point right here is the same distance away from all of our corners, all of our points, all the vertices. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.